guys, it's Soldier Girl. <laughs> this is my six month breath augmentation update for you guys. Um, the last time I did an update was, I think I was two, two and a half months post-op. And so there has, nothing's been going on. Um, if you guys have been watching my, my uh, regular videos, you can see that they're doing really, really good. For starters, those of you who have not watched my whole breast augmentation journey, I had my breast augmentation um, done December 4th in the city of Apple Valley with Dr. Tarini. Tarini. Um, the procedure cost me $5,500. That was um, for uh, saline implants. Um, I went with uh, $450 on my right and no 410 on my right and 450 on my on my left all right um my incisions are under um in my um breast crease um my recovery was absolutely amazing i was up and at it i would say about day two um everything healed really well i dropped really well i had no pain just slight discomfort if anything um, throughout my recovery, I was back to working out. Well, not working out, but I was actually able to walk, I would say. Just walk. <laughs> I would say probably uh, after the first two or three weeks. I didn't actually start um, lifting or working my upper body until I was two months post-op. So I asked how long I had to wait. Um, that's um, how long I had to wait to wear underwire bras as well. Um, when I finally got sized, salut. When I finally got sized, I went to Victoria's Secret, which is I know I know is probably the worst place that you can go because they tend to upsize you. And so they sized me at a double a uh, double D, thirty six double D. And so and it's crazy because I bought those two bras that I share with you guys, and I've only worn them maybe twice, and I actually wore one uh, a couple weeks ago, and it was just so unbearable and. Those of you who haven't been following me, I am like five months pregnant, and um, and so my boobs are definitely a lot bigger now. I'm gonna take this off so you can see um, what they look like. And I just went and got bikinis like today. I went and got a few, which I thought I didn't think that I would actually get any during my pregnancy, but um, I went ahead and I got I got a few. And so this is one of them. Um, just so that you can see what they're looking like, um, but I I still love them, you guys. I haven't had any issues. Let me see if I can show you my my incisions, and you can barely see them. Okay, let me show you the other one. Right there, really, really, really good. My procedure went amazing. I picked the right doctor um, for me, um, and I had an absolutely no problems whatsoever. Um, what else? I paid cash. I didn't. I decided not to, not to finance. Um, but they do obviously have financing. For I have no problems with them, you guys. They um, are pretty soft and um, yeah, they move like they're supposed to move, you know. And so, um, absolutely no regrets, no issues, no problems. I know that some of you guys are like, whoa, well, you know. You end up getting pregnant after your boob job and I wouldn't have changed a thing like I would I'm still happy that I got them again I have absolutely no regrets I pretty much just wear sports bras like I rarely ever wear bras and I was never a bra person before I got them done and I don't really know why I expected that to change like I, I don't know why I expected to be able to be a bra person and to be you know wearing these really pretty lazy bras and that's never been me and so it's working out no issues whatsoever. I know that when I started lifting around that two month mark, um, the lat pull down was hard and I could feel the muscles tense up and push ups were difficult and pull ups were difficult. But I pretty much can do all that. I would not know that I got a boob job if I did not know that I got a boob job, if that makes any sense. Because I know that some people say that when they got theirs done, they feel like they don't feel like they're a part of them um they feel like they are totally a part of me like i said um i they're soft i have a nice amount of cleavage i've got a lot of um side boob going on there as well and so there is like 
no issues that I have with getting them done whatsoever. Just the fact that, like I said, I'm pregnant now and now they're getting a little bigger and my nipples are super, super sensitive. Um, and so, yeah, I usually take the um, pads out of my um, bikinis, but I had to keep them in because my nipples are actually really sensitive right now. I haven't seen my doctor since I think I was about three months or so. Um, and at, at that point, everything was perfectly fine. As to why I got saline, I got saline because I felt it was a safer choice for me. I feel like if there is any kind of rupture, that I'm going to know about it right away when I have a deflated boob, you know, versus with silicone, I just felt like, okay, if it's a slow leak, when am I going to know that there's a, there's a leak or that there's a rupture? You know what I'm saying? So I just felt like, I just felt safer overall choosing saline. Um, as far as under the boob, I chose that incision um, because um, I didn't want to deal with my armpits incisions and um, I, because I chose saline, um, it was just easier and the incisions were a lot smaller because I chose saline versus, um, versus silicone. I went and had three consults done and chose um, Dr. Taroni, um, he's up here in the high desert, so he literally was like five minutes from me. So I, I, I like the fact that right after my procedure, I was home in like five or ten minutes. And so that's one thing I really, really liked um, versus those who fly out of the country or those who have to drive, you know, three hours to get, you know, there and stuff. And so, um, <clears throat> but yeah, but I, I feel pretty good. I know a lot of ladies tend to experience, they say after you get your boobs done, you feel like there's an elephant in your chest. I never experienced that. Um, I pretty much went into my procedure thinking the worst. I watched a crap load of YouTube videos trying to get different perspectives on a different side of the spectrum. And for me, I'm just, I went in thinking I was going to be the worst pain I could ever feel. You know, um, I, I've, I have had a baby before it was a c-section and I didn't really feel much pain with that I mean well my pain came afterwards and so but I just figured okay it'd be worse than that kind of pain and so I was just really fortunate and lucky that um, my procedure um, I didn't have any pain I just ju I just had discomfort I had a really bad sore throat um, and I think really that's just really about it I was just it's just that pressure of feeling something in there that's kind of foreign but um, for me, that didn't last long. I took the meds. I took the pain meds for, I want to say, five days. Um, no, I took the muscle relaxant for five days. The pain meds I only take for, I only took the let thing for two or three days. But it really was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. At the same time, I'm glad that I waited because it was a. This was something I had been thinking about for, um, since I had since I had my son and, and Papa's is almost nine. And so I finally decided to do it, and I'm glad that I waited because I feel like the experience was just that much better. I mean, I don't know if I would have had such a good experience had I did it back when I originally wanted to get it done. But um, again, I'm excited about it. I love the boobs. Again, they feel really soft, and obviously they move a lot. Okay, my side view, and my front, and my other side. And so yeah, I've got more bikinis. I'm not going to try them all on right now, but I have one of them on, and then the other one was a white with red polka dots, which I thought was really, really cute. Um, maybe I'll insert some pictures, because I did take pictures, and then this one's similar to what I have on now. It's just um, more of a zebra-type print. And so, um, and I had to get all my tops an extra large. I actually had to get my bottoms an extra large, too, because one of them, I thought it was an extra large, and it was a large. That one fits me a little snug on my um, around my waist, but... I think that's, I think that's basically it, you guys. I probably won't even think about doing another update for you guys on my augmentation until I'm about a year post-op. Um, I thought that since I do plan on breastfeeding, I figured after I have a baby, I will probably do some kind of video on, um, you know, breastfeeding after breast implants. I thought that would be interesting. Um, and I've been looking online, watching tons of videos on that um, subject as well, because I do plan to breastfeed. Um... And so, yeah, so I will leave it there. I want to thank you guys, those of you who have followed this journey with me. And um, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Later, guys.